Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm talking with Claudia Tornquist, from, uh, who's the president and CEO of Kodiak Copper. Uh, symbol is KDK on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Claudia? I'm very well. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me, Chris. It's <laughs> great. So you, you put out some uh, news release uh, earlier this month about some really good geophysical work at your, your project in, uh, in BC. And, uh, you know, for investors who want to have a look at the, the pictures, it shows a pretty clear uh, images of some really interesting new target zones in and around your existing zone that you've been drilling with uh, great success. Maybe you can just talk about that uh, news release from earlier this month. Yes, we put out the uh, results from a deep IP survey we did last autumn, and we were very pleased with the results. They really help with our targeting for this year's drilling. Essentially, the responses, the geophysical responses, very much correlate with what we see in our drilling, i.e. where we drill high grades, we see the a um, high conductivity and where the high conductivity zone stops the high grade stop. So very, very powerful. And that of course now tells us where to drill next. We see where these high conductivity and chargeability actually zones um, extend. And that's where we go next with our drilling in and around the gate zone to further grow and extend the gate zone. And then the most exciting um, outcome or result from these um, new, from this new data, geophysical data, is that we see a analog response, parallel response, just a couple of hundred meters away, very large, similar in size to the gate zone, essentially a lookalike of the gate zone. And we weren't aware of that before. And that, of course, is now a new and very exciting, very high priority drill target for this year. Yeah. Now, the gate zone last year for investors who want to look back, you, you released something in December. It was a very long pull. It was like 500 meters of almost a 0.9% copper equivalent. So uh, that must be very exciting to see a zone like that. And, and as well as last year, you did you know, about uh, over 30 holes and, and over more than 20,000 meters of drilling uh, at, at your project in BC. Uh, what are the plans for this year with regards to drilling? We have another large drill program planned. Last year, we drilled just under 22,000 meters. This year, we're aiming for 25,000 or even more. And we'll drill further at the gate zone. And then importantly, we'll also start testing other targets. The new target that I just referred to um, that's come out of our ge geophysical data and also the other historically drilled porphyry centers that have only shallow historic drilling and then have never been tested deeper. And we'll take the model that brought success at gate and essentially replicate it at these other historically drilled targets like Dillard, Man, Prime, Axe. So Claudia, what do you find when you drill deeper? Are you finding a, a higher grade? Well, at MPD in the gate zone, what we see so far is lower grade mineralization near surface. And the best grades we have drilled are between three to 500 meters in depth in the drilling we have done so far. And that's where we are. We we'll obviously drill a lot more. The zone is still open in many directions and we'll see what else we can come up with. And, and how are you funded for this year? We have currently $9 million in the treasury. So are well funded for our work this year and under no pressure to finance anytime soon, which is of course a good situation to be in. I noticed that in your cap table, uh, that tech was an investor. Why would tech be investing in, in, in a small junior like, uh, like Kodiak? Well, tech put in $8 million after our initial high-grade discovery at um, Gate. That was very well received by the market. Obviously, it was seen as a big vote in confidence. And the reason being that tech as a major is not interested in small projects. The fact that they invested is testament to them believing that MPD has potential to be a sizable 
um, porphyry and porphyries in general, that's what they are about, porphyry deposits. They are large elephant deposits, often a very large amount of lower grade mineralization with then some high grade centers, one or several interspersed. And we were fortunate at GATE to drill into a nice high grade porphyry center right at the start of our exploration work. And we'll take it from there. And before I end, I just want to talk a little bit about the copper business itself. We've seen copper get above $4 and, and stay there. Um, and lots of talk in the marketplace about, you know, the electrification uh, of the economy. Um, how do you see copper moving forward? I mean, the long-term fundamentals for copper are outstanding. Um, doesn't need a science degree to, to figure out that anything electric needs a lot of copper. And if you look, look at the growth in electric vehicles, they're just really taking off around the world. And other um, green technologies and energy transition technologies such as um, solar, wind technology, etc. It's very much the same story. So there is big demand for copper. And the supply side is just not there um, at the moment. Inventories in copper are uh, very low. That's why we've seen these, these spikes in the, in the copper price recently. And I just read a, a report by UBS. They expect copper to go over $5 in, over the next couple of quarters because of these supply shortages. Interesting. Well, I look forward to following uh, your company and the drill results uh, over this year and hopefully we can get you back uh, to talk about some of the results and um, you know proving up some of those anomalies again I recommend that the investors uh, go to the, the Kodiak Copper website to look at the images from the news release to see exactly how these uh, zones are, are clearly being shown uh, on, on the maps provided. Uh, thank you for your time today Claudia. I was talking with Claudia Tornquist who is the president and CEO of Co Kodiak Copper uh, the ticker is KDK on the TSX Venture Exchange.